Imagine a time when Orange County, California was a vastly different landscape, a place almost unrecognizable compared to today. The Pacific Ocean, now a familiar sight to residents and visitors alike, was much further away with the coastline extending miles beyond its current location. The land stretched out colder and more arid, a stark contrast to the warm, temperate climate we experience now. This was the scene during the last ice age, a period of time that left its mark on the region in the form of fascinating fossils, buried treasures waiting to be discovered. These fossils tell tales of a time when giants roamed the earth, creatures that would seem mythical if not for the evidence they left behind. Mammoths and mastodons, massive relatives of today's elephants, traversed the landscape, their heavy footsteps echoing through the valleys. Fearsome saber-toothed cats with their enormous canine teeth glinting in the sunlight stalk their prey with a deadly grace. Giant ground sloths, some as large as cars, ambled through the undergrowth, their slow movements belying their immense size. These creatures, now extinct, have left behind clues to, to their existence in the form of bones, teeth, and other remains, each piece a puzzle to be solved. These precious fragments of the past preserved in the earth for millennia offer us a glimpse into a lost world, a world that once thrived with life. They provide insights into the environment, climate, and life that existed in Orange County thousands of years ago, painting a vivid picture of a bygone era. Join me as we embark on a journey through time to uncover the secrets of Orange County's Ice Age past and discover the incredible stories these ancient fossils have to tell. The Ice Age, a period of cooler global temperatures and glacial expansion, uh, dramatically reshaped the Earth's landscapes, including what is now Orange County. The region, typically known for its warm climate and coastal plains, experienced a transformation. Lower sea levels during the Ice Age exposed more land, connecting the Channel Islands to the mainland. This created a vast coastal plain that stretched far beyond the present-day shoreline. The climate was cooler and drier, supporting grasslands and woodlands instead of the familiar chaparral and coastal sage scrub. Rivers, larger and more numerous than today, flowed from inland mountains, carving valleys and creating watering holes that attracted a diverse array of animals. These conditions provided an ideal habitat for the large mammals that define the Ice Age, attracting both herbivores and the predators that hunted them. The transformation of Orange County during the Ice Age set the stage for a unique ecosystem teeming with life. The remnants of this ancient environment preserved in the fossil record provide invaluable clues to understanding this dramatic period. The Pleistocene epoch spanning from about 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago was a time when giants roamed the earth. This era was marked by significant climatic changes which led to the evolution and adaptation of many large mammals. In Orange County, the most iconic of these giants were undoubtedly the mammoths and mastodons. These creatures have left an indelible mark on the region's paleontological history, uh, with numerous fossil discoveries shedding light on their existence. These massive herbivores, relatives of modern-day elephants, were well adapted to the cooler, drier conditions of the Ice Age. Their physical adaptations, such as thick fur and large body size, helped them survive in harsh environments. Mammoths, particularly the Colombian mammoth, 
Mammothus columbi, were a common sight in Orange County. These giants roamed the plains and forests, leaving behind a rich fossil record that continues to fascinate scientists and enthusiasts alike. Towering over 12 feet tall with long curved tusks and thick woolly coats, they were well equipped to withstand the colder temperatures. Their impressive size and distinctive features make you know, them one of the most recognizable prehistoric animals. You know, their massive size and herbivorous diet meant they played a crucial role in shaping the landscape, grazing on grasses and other vegetation. By doing so, they helped maintain the balance of their ecosystems, influencing the growth and distribution of plant species. Mastodons, while similar in appearance to mammoths, were a distinct species. They had unique characteristics that set them apart, such as their dental structure and dietary preferences. They were generally shorter and stockier than mammoths, with straighter tusks and a preference for browsing on trees and shrubs. This difference in diet meant that mastodons occupied a different ecological niche contributing to the diversity of the prehistoric landscape. While less common in the fossil record of Orange County than mammoths, their presence indicates a diverse ecosystem capable of supporting multiple large herbivore species. The coexistence of these giants suggests a complex and interdependent environment. The discovery of mammoth and mastodon fossils in Orange County provides compelling evidence of the region's prehistoric past. Each fossil find adds a piece to the puzzle, helping us understand the lives of these incredible creatures. These majestic creatures capture the imagination and remind us of a time when giants walked the earth. Their legacy continues to inspire awe and curiosity as we uncover more about their existence and the world they inhabited. The Ice Age wasn't just a time for gentle giants. It was also an era of formidable predators. Among the most iconic predators of this period were the saber-toothed cats, fearsome hunters with their characteristic long saber-like canine teeth. The most well-known of these saber-toothed cats was Smilodon fatalis, a powerful predator that roamed throughout North and South America during the Pleistocene. These cats were stockier than modern-day lions, with incredibly strong forelimbs and those distinctive saber teeth which could grow up to 11 inches long. These saber teeth were formidable weapons used to deliver a killing blow to their prey, which likely included mammoths, mastodons, bison, and other large herbivores. You know, also Fossil evidence suggests that saber-toothed cats may have hunted in packs using coordinated attacks to bring down their massive prey. The presence of saber-toothed cat fossils in Orange County paints a vivid picture of the predator-prey dynamics of the Ice Age. These apex predators played a crucial role in the ecosystem, keeping herbivore populations in check and shaping the balance of nature. While mammoths and saber-toothed cats dominate our image of the Ice Age, another group of fascinating creatures also inhabited this ancient landscape ground sloths. These herbivorous mammals, relatives of modern-day tree sloths, were surprisingly diverse in size and shape. One of the most impressive ground sloths was the Shasta ground sloth, Nothrotheriops shastensis, which could grow up to nine feet tall. These gentle giants were browsers, using their long claws to pull down branches and their specialized teeth to grind up leaves and twigs. Ground sloths were slow moving and relatively defenseless, making them vulnerable to predators like saber-toothed cats. However, their size and strength provided some protection and their claws uh, could have been used for defense if necessary. As the Ice Age came to an end and the climate changed, 
Um, these large herbivores faced challenges, uh, the disappearance of their preferred food sources, and the arrival of new predators, including humans, likely contributed to their eventual extinction. The fossils of ground sloths in Orange County serve as a reminder of the ever-changing nature of life on Earth um, and the challenges faced by species as their environments shift. These fossils not only tell us about the past, uh, but also help us understand the dynamics uh, of extinction and survival. By studying these ancient creatures, we gain insights into how current species might adapt or struggle in our rapidly changing world. The story of the ground sloths is a testament to the resilience and vulnerability of life, showing us that even the mightiest creatures can be brought to the brink of extinction by environmental changes and human activities. As we look to the future, the lessons from the past become ever more crucial in guiding our efforts to preserve the biodiversity of our planet. If you love fossils but can't get enough of history, then stay tuned for more. In part two, we're diving into more key discoveries like dire wolves and camels, ancient marine life, and the fascinating discovery process right here in Orange County. Don't miss out, so hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe for more amazing content. And hey, share your favorite prehistoric mysteries with us below. See you soon, and thank you for watching.